Hindustan Aeronautics is getting ready to sign the Tejas Mark 1A deal with the Royal Malaysian Air Force, and a high-level Malaysian delegation will visit India in September, and the deal is likely to be signed during this visit. In addition to providing the Tejas light combat aircraft, Hindustan Aeronautics will provide aviation management training, maintenance repair and overhaul, and support local manufacturing, and will also offer servicing and upgrades for the Malaysian fleet of Su-30 MKM and Hawk trainer. The Malaysian decision has tilted in India's favour, because the Tejas can accommodate a variety of air-to-air -air missiles, anti-ship missiles and air-to-ground weapons and the open architecture of the Tejas will allow Malaysia to continue using a mix of Russian and NATO weaponry. The Tejas deal might be followed by a deal for BrahMos air-launched cruise missiles for the Su-30 fighter jets of the Royal Malaysian Air Force. India's 7,000-ton S-4 nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine will move out of the fitting-out dock and will start sea trials from mid of 2023. The S-4 Star SSBN will also move out of the dry docks by mid-2023, and go into the fitting-out dock for its final integration of systems. Both the S-4 and S-4 Star SSBNs will complete the second phase of India's nuclear ballistic submarine program, after which the program will move to the third phase, that will see the development of the S-5 class of SSPNs, that will have a displacement of 13,500 tons, and will be armed with 16 MERV-capable K6SLBM. The RDO Centre for Airborne Studies and the Indian Air Force are looking to procure six more Netra Mark I Airborne Early Warning and Control System based on Embraer 145 platform, that will increase the Netra Mark I numbers to nine aircraft. The private sector firm LK Electromech Private Limited has started the fabrication process for the UHF, VHF and L-band antennas for the six Netra Mark II radar, that will be integrated on the 6A319-based aircraft that is currently undergoing modification by the DRDO with assistance from Airbus. Senior officials from Kalashnikov have said that Kalashnikov has already delivered a batch of 70,000 rifles as part of the larger AK-203 order with India, and the Indo-Russian Rifles Private Limited is likely to start operations to produce AK-203 rifles by the end of 2022, and the joint venture firm will achieve full-scale manufacturing capacity in three years. They also said that all necessary equipment is ready to be shipped out to India shortly, and upon its arrival, Kalashnikov will assist in setting up the production units, while a team of Russian engineers have already trained Indian personnel to manufacture the rifles. A small testing range has also been established at the factory, where the acceptance trials can be conducted by the armed forces before taking delivery. Russia's Rosbaron export has rolled out the first export version of its T-14 main battle tank at the Army 2022 exhibition, and has claimed that six countries have displayed their interest in the T-14 tank based on the Armata combat platform. Russia had also responded to the request for information by the Indian Army with its T-14, to procure over 1,700 future-ready combat vehicles through the strategic partnership route. Eyeing the large export potential of Hindustan 228 aircraft, Hindustan Aeronautics has released a request for proposal for the appointment of foreign consultant for marketing of Hindustan 228 aircraft in international market. Hindustan Aeronautics is also developing an amphibious variant that will be offered to both defense and civilian sectors.